get the ball movement moving and you know create better opportunities yeah i thought um give the Celtics credit they did a great job tonight defending uh, making it tough on us um, we had some good looks that didn't go down um, we got to move the ball the ball just stuck too much um, and we'll be better in game two Mike Curtis here in the front Mike Curtis Dallas Morning News hey Jason um, Luca said that they were guarding a lot of one-on-one -on -one action um, just with Kyrie and just the way he struggled offensively did you like the looks he was getting or just I guess how are they playing him yeah, I thought he had great looks um, that just didn't go down. He had some great looks at three. Um, he had some great looks in the paint. Um, and that's just part of basketball. Sometimes they go in, sometimes they don't. Uh, tonight they just didn't go down for Kai or most of the team. Um, and we hopefully we get those same shots in game two and we can be better. Dwayne Price here in the second row. Dwayne Price, math.com. Uh, Jason, the game started to turn a little bit when Porzingis came in. What was he doing out there to be so effective tonight? Yeah, K, uh, KP was great. He uh, knocked down shots. Uh, he changed shots. He blocked shots. Um, he, he gave them a spark when he came off the bench. Um, we just got to make it a little bit tougher. You know, off on the offensive end, we got to make him do something different. He got great looks and, and knocked them down. Here in the front. Mike Leslie, WFA. Jason, you guys did make that run there early in the, in the third quarter, cut the lead down to eight, seemed to develop some momentum. What of that is uh, replicable? What, what can you take away from that stretch to try and recreate that in game two and going beyond there? Yeah, um, we did cut it to eight and got the rebound. Unfortunately, came up with a travel. Um, a, a lot of good things uh, in that third and fourth that we can build on. Um, that's what we talked about after the game, and that's what we have to do. Um, we came out and won the third. Um, I had a great opportunity to cut into that lead. Unfortunately, they go on a run um, once we cut it to eight. Um, but then, you know, we won the fourth. So there are two positive things that we can take from this uh, from this four quarters. Uh, you know, we got to be better in the first. Uh, they took advantage of that. Um, they knocked down threes. But, you know, the big thing is we, we have to be better as a team um, offensively and defensively. Not to, not to only focus on the travel, but the the youth on the roster how did you feel like you guys the, the guys who hadn't been at this stage how do you feel like they handled the moment they did great they did great and they'll they'll get better as the series goes on brad townsend here in the front jason <clears throat> brad townsend dallas morning news when teams have spread the court or tried to spread the court on you guys during the playoffs your bigs have still been very effective tonight you know, their numbers weren't great. Why is it? Why was it different tonight? Obviously, the Celtics were making a lot of three-pointers. You, you're having to chase people around the perimeter. Yeah, I think um, this is a, you know, this is the best team in the NBA, and uh, they're, they're good for a reason. Uh, they play their style of basketball at a high rate. Um, they generated 27 threes there in the first half. Um, and, and made it, I think 11 of them, and so uh, we have to be better. You know, we can't we can't give them seven made threes in the first quarter. Um, that would have outscored us with you know only scoring 20. And, um, you know, so we have to be better. Uh, give them credit; um, they were good tonight. But again, we we got to be better. <laughs> Nerves or not being in this situation, we can't use that as an excuse. It's just basketball, and uh, we got to be better at the game of basketball on Sunday. Any other right here? Hi, Jason. Uh, Bob Schron of the Journal. Um, they, they were they opened up a huge lead in the in the first quarter and, and a half. Did you kind of have to see how the, your team would handle that and keep seeing how a bunch of the guys were in their first finals? Yeah, I think. Um, I thought the group handled it well at halftime. We talked about what we had to do, and I thought we did that coming out in the third. Uh, again, cutting that lead, getting it to eight uh, with the ball. Unfortunately, um, we traveled. Um, and then, you know, from that point on, they took control of the game. But I thought the group responded. Um, I thought we were better in the second half. Um, and hopefully we can build on that third and fourth quarter going into uh, game two. On the left, Tim. Tim Cato, The Athletic. Jason, um, you may have been asked about like going down, losing games one. You guys have done that twice already, even this postseason run. The next day, what what do you try to make that about for for the team? What what is the kind of the purpose of you know conveying both emotion and, and confidence and also strategy 
uh, throughout the course of, of kind of going into the next day? Yeah, I think it's just, you know, about the positives. Uh, what, what can we do um, to build on the positives? Uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Um, understanding the small things, um, the physicality, uh, we have to be better. Um, at that, but um, just looking at the positives, um, look at the things that we can control, um, and then we'll build from there. First row here on the right. Valencia King, Real Talk Sports out of Dallas. You mentioned a moment ago that it's just basketball and getting back to that. Luca was asked about the run where you guys cut it to eight, and he said they were having fun and they have to do more of that. Not to get into your secrets of coaching, but how do you coach more fun for the guys? You know, we talked about it at halftime. I thought we weren't having fun there in the first half. Um, and we talked about having fun uh, to work.